venue here, Steve Kim. Yeah, absolutely. And this has been a venue for boxing for about the past 15 to 20 years. Been a big day of boxing internationally, and we cap things off here in the capital of Las Vegas, uh, really the capital of boxing in the United States. Should be a very fun night, Beto. It will be. You, know, you see Valadez on your screen. His opponent, the undefeated Blair Combs, who fought a couple weeks ago in Los Angeles. He has a lot of personality, runs around a lot. He's training with um, Bones Adams recently. The Las Vegas native gets to fight in his backyard as we open it up the broadcast for you around the world. Our ring announcer tonight, the one and only Mark Frado. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the joint at the Hard Rock here in the fight capital, Las Vegas, Nevada. This is Golden Boy Boxing on Facebook Watch. Our opening bout is scheduled for six rounds in the super welterweight division. It's brought to you by Oscar De La Hoya's Golden Boy Promotions and is presented by Tecate, the official beer of boxing, and Casa Mexico Tequila. It's in the taste. Tonight's bouts are sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission, the chairman, Anthony A. Marnell III. The commissioners, Stacey Alonso, Christopher Alt, Robert McBaith, M.D., and Dallas E. Hahn. The executive director is Bob Bennett. Your doctors at ringside this evening, Anthony Ruggirioli, M.D., Al Campagna, M.D., Ramondo Leon, M.D., and Vicky Mazzorana, M.D. And your timers this evening, Jim Cavan and Steve Mazzagatti. The judges here in the opening contest are Chris Flores, Patricia Morris Jarman, and Ricardo Ocasio. And controlling the action at the sound of the bell, the referee in charge is Jay Nady. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in at 147 and one half pounds. As a professional, his record stands with five victories against four defeats, four wins coming by way of knockout. Wearing white this evening, and hailing from Agua Prieta, Sonora, Mexico, and Douglas, Arizona, please welcome Emmanuel Valadez. His undefeated opponent fights across the ring out of the red corner. He weighed in at 146 and one half pounds. As a professional, his record stands with nine victories, zero defeats, and one draw. Six wins coming by way of knockout. We're in gray with black and representing Las Vegas, originally from the fighting city of Philadelphia. Please welcome Blair, the Flair Cops. Fighters come center. Six rounds will be my commands. Good luck. Touch gloves now. Let's go to work. Third man in the ring, Jay Navies. We get ready to go for Cobbs and Valadez, our opening bout. Thanks for watching all over the world. Beth Duran, Steve Kim. Is this one scheduled for six rounds from the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino? The joint. A lot of concerts have been played here over the years. You see some of the who's who in the music industry. Now a chance to see fighters to make some noise of their own. Cobbs, the southpaw. Mark Bartle says, originally from Philadelphia, now living and training in Las Vegas. Valadez from Arizona. That veteran will take a fight on two days' notice, a day's notice. He usually gives opponents quality, as you would say, Steve, professional resistance. Yeah, and Blair Cobbs is coming out like he has plans for dinner tonight. He's coming out of the gate very quickly. One note about Emmanuel Valadez. Turned pro in 2013 at 125 pounds, just under the featherweight limit tonight. This is a welterweight contest. You can just look by the frames. Blair Cobbs looks like the much more muscular, bigger fighter. And Cobbs fought. On the 6th of July in Los Angeles, went the distance with a very rugged veteran in Juan Gar Garces, who was 28 and 20 going into that fight. Blair, the Flair Cobbs is the nickname he goes with. There's some blood from the nose of Valadez here in the first. In his last outing, Cobbs went the distance. Didn't exactly look the sharpest. 
gets to the opponent who isn't really willing to trade with him. But I heard from people around him and just in the business that there's a kid in Vegas who has a lot of style, a lot of flair, but it's when you get tested you can find out who they are. Well, coming out of the gate here, he's been very, very assertive and lands a good straight left hand right down the middle. Get the sense though, he wants to make a bit of a statement yeah, tonight. He, does. he is facing a naturally smaller guy. And somebody who's, willing, who's gonna stand there for you and get tagged as he gets hit again, Valadez. Yeah, and Valadez has been stopped four times, so he does have a track record of being drilled, being buzzed, and being counted out. You know, when you match make a fighter like Cobb, sometimes you want to create the illusion, not only with the public or with the press, also with the fighter. You want to be able to develop a certain amount of confidence. So as you get a guy some victories, once in a while, you want to throw in a fight where they're going to look really, really good, and they start to psychologically gain a little bit of confidence within their own skill set. That truly is the art of developing and nurturing a young boxer. Um. In control of this round, landing the bigger shots. Looking good in the opening round. The Blair and the Flair Cobbs, the southpaw. Prince Ranch boxing is where he works out of. Oh, Blair Cobbs in the opening round. Hit the Hard Rock Hotel in Las Vegas. Blair Cobbs came out of the gate very quickly, asserting himself, throwing hard, fast punches like that left hand right down the throat. Probably the most aggressive stance that we've taken or seen from Cobbs in our three or four outings that we've seen from him in 2018. Generally likes to work his way into a fight. This one certainly fighting off the front foot immediately right off the bat. Okay, super aggressive. A bit wild is Cobbs. Lunge and he drops Valadez. Blair Cobbs. He, he said he wants to make a statement coming out, and he's doing that here in the second. Beto, I like to say often, it's not if you win sometimes, it's how you win. And when you're facing a guy that started his career as a featherweight and all four of his losses are of the knockout variety, I think there's a certain expectation, not only from the fighter, but within the management. If we set it up for you, your job is to knock him down. Five KOs for Blair Cobbs in his young career. Valadez took this fight two days ago. He's actually scheduled to fight in August in Arizona, where he resides. And here he is. Under a swarm from Blair Cobbs. Breathing deep is Valadez. Blood all over his face now. All red. Now the body shots. Going back on the ropes. He's all off balance. And Blair Cobbs just pushing back Valadez. A lot of heart from the Mexican Valadez. But Blair Cobbs is trying to finish it here in the second. Jay Nady starting to look in, and he wins it off. A second round stoppage for Blair Cobbs. Valadez walks back to his corner, breathing really deep as an onslaught from Blair Cobbs in the corner. And there you see a very excited Blair, the Flair Cobbs gets his 10th victory in a 6KO. Yeah, and Cobbs tonight certainly fought with a purpose came right out of the gate in round number one, understanding what he had in front of him, played the role of the bully, bigger, stronger, faster, 
and also quicker off the trigger. And I think this is the type of victory where, again, you want to psychologically get your guy into the habit of winning, but also winning in dominant fashion. In many respects, though, a lot of these victories aren't so much about the fighter, but the matchmaking. So for Blair Cobb, it's a way for him to kind of create that mojo, create some momentum, and to move forward on in his career. Valadez loses for the fifth time in his career. They, these are the kind of guys that boxing needs. The young guys are willing to take a fight on a day's notice, on two days' yeah. notice. And fighting at weight division is not necessarily theirs, but they're going to be there. Give him credit for stepping in there. And he saw a very focused Blair Cobb today because he didn't look this way the last time we saw him at the Blasco in early July where he went the distance against a savvy veteran. He dropped them early in the... In the fight, then in the second round, Steve. And Beto, I thought Blair was very sharp tonight, very, very focused offensively, and again, didn't have a lot of resistance in front of him facing a smaller guy that had been stopped before. But I don't recall Blair Cobbs punching on his front foot so aggressively. Mm -hmm. In fact, Kirio actually oversteps his stride a little bit. Footwork's going to have to be cleaned up. But again, sometimes you develop a puncher just by giving them guys that could knock over, and he certainly did that tonight. And as for Valadez and the role he plays in boxing, as you said, Beto, there's an old phrase, even the world, they all need ditch diggers. He said it. He was bullying him, like running around. Didn't, never gave Valadez a chance to breathe at all. This is how the fight ended in that corner. Valadez will certainly game at the end. I have to give him a lot of credit. Didn't go gently into the night, but certainly outgunned and outphysical from the very onset of this contest. Another angle from the replays. Good job by the guys on the truck getting that. And just attack them. That's what you want to do too, right? See, you don't want to let these guys hang around. Listen, you never know what could happen. You could win a fight for nothing and clash heads, and then you get cut and you're out for three months. Now, looking at Blair Cop, technically, his footwork really needs to be focused in on being able to slide his front foot and then move him aside with him with his back foot. He seems to overstride at times and other times be stuck in cement. But again, he's a relatively young fighter, even though he's 28. This is just what his 11th professional bout is still very much a work in progress. Richard Philadelphia now living in Las Vegas. Blair Cobbs opens up our broadcast for a second round stoppage. Mark Fratto is inside the ring with the microphone ready to go. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee in charge, Jay Nady, calls for a halt to the action. Your official time, one minute, 52 seconds in round number two. Your winner by TKO and still undefeated from Las Vegas and Philadelphia, Blair the Flair Cobb. Yeah, you got Tenth win, a seventh stoppage, and after... Works, takes the gloves off, he's still shut a boxing team. Still fired up. <laughs> yeah, and you could joke maybe he got more resistance there than he did during the round and a half that he was in tonight. But again, sometimes when you do what you're supposed to, you could move forward from that. So Blair Cobbs, and the one thing I did notice about him when we saw him at Velasco Theater a couple of times, didn't seem to have a lot of confidence. And I think there may have been a decision made by his management. Let's develop that confidence. Now, sometimes, based on the matchmaking, it can be a mirage. But you've got to be able to bring situations to your fighters where they start to develop a little bit more confidence in themselves. you got to take the picture in the ring after the victory. It is 2018. you got to 